What's up guys, Axis here with the second episode of my tips and tricks series and um, today we're just going to be making a pillar which um, I'm just going to be modelling in Cinema 4D I used um, this um, the pillar in uh, the demonic intro it's one of my favourite intros I've done um, so I'm just going to basically show you how to make that today so first what you're going to want to do is get a cylinder go into object and raise the radius and height like so and once you've got that just do control C control V to uh, duplicate it and then make the height higher and then bring down the radius so it's like that while, and then while holding alt click on your array tab choose array and it will put your cylinder inside the array and this will basically just um, clone all the uh, cylinders into an array well yeah <laughs> so um, click on your array get it selected and bring the radius down until it's touching the cylinder like that and then grab your bool drag your array and your cylinder into it make sure your cylinder is the one at the top like the base cylinder and not the array because as you can see that just cuts out the parts of the array which you don't want and also make sure that the cylinder is not inside the array or the array is not inside the cylinder so that looks good um, so once you've got that just go and get a another cylinder here and then move it up on the y-axis turn down the height and then raise the radius up just get something that you like there we go and then um, go and go into caps on your cylinder select fill it and then turn down the radius so there's just a slight curve in your cylinder and just duplicate that once again raise it up on the y-axis and then turn up the radius so as you can see that's a really nice effect and then lastly just grab a cube and turn down the y make sure that the x and z are equal so it's an exact box so if you're gonna change one you have to change the other so yeah that looks good so grab your cube hold shift and then click your first cylinder and then press alt and G to group them and once you've got that duplicate your null object with all the um, uh, the top parts included and then go into coordinates and change the rotation on Y to oh wait one one uh, 180 there we go and then just bring that down on the Y axis right down to the bottom and as you can see you've got your pillar so I just normally just group all these and then I can copy and paste that into my light room we put a gold material on it, that's what I used for my intro. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and comment if you enjoyed and this helped you out. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.